people from soaps to prime time. His name is actor. He's an actor and his name is Tobias Trevelyan and he's making his mark on the small screen. His latest role was on the hit TV show Empire and he's set to star in a new TV drama that just may rival Law and Order. Ooh. Joining me now with more is the actor, fitness guru, fashion aficionado, and philanthropist Tobias Trevelyan. Welcome to Great Day. Oh, well, thanks for having me. How are you? I am doing great because it's always cool when you have somebody right in front of you mm -hmm. that's been on one of your favorite shows. Uh -huh. And that's you on Empire for me. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks for having me. You know, it's a pleasure to be able to portray that character and bring them life for you. Now, you played on this crazy hit show. It just took off from the mm -hmm. moment it premiered. And then you're there on set. I know. How did it feel coming from being a model mm -hmm. and on a soap to being in prime time? Um, I mean, I wish it was that easy, but uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a transition from there, from doing the daytime. It was like such a training ground because of the speed and pace that we work at. Uh, going into doing daytime day players on different uh, shows and stuff and then just transitioning into this primetime role was amazing experience walking on set and seeing one of my idols Felisa Rashad and Terrence and Jesse and all the guys out of there it was a, it's an amazing experience you know it's something that you work for something that you really pray for as an actor to be on a hit show and the number one show in the world is an amazing feeling well, you know, I think the best actors mm -hmm. come from two places, theater and soaps. Hello. Hello, right? <laughs> because you talk about working hard. Soaps, people don't realize you have to memorize an yes. amazing amount of lines yes. in a short amount of time where they let you go, right? You got to go. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that all credits back to the training in the theater. I started in the National Black Theater up in Harlem. Um, rest in peace to Dr. Barbara Ann T and Tunde Samuels. And that's where I really started. That's where I kind of honed in my, my craft and honed in my skills. And I was fortunate enough to even start working on my TV skills on the soap. So, you know, that transition from the theater to the soaps was a, it was a, it was a heavy transition for me. But being on the soaps, it was so uh, rewarding for myself because I got around great that were like Timothy Stickney and Phil Carey and Bob Woods. These people really show me just by observing them how to like really fine tune that acting as far as on being on the small screen. And I think your work is a testament to that. You're oh, in DC, you. yes. filming a movie. Tell us about that. Well, right now I'm doing a, a romantic comedy called Love.com. Um, I'm playing a urban developer who his name is uh, Greg. Okay. And um, yeah, he's, he's from the neighborhood. He's part of you know what they say sometimes is gentrification but he has a seat at the table for the community and for the people and he winds up getting involved with uh, a woman that's from the neighborhood she's an eco-friendly uh, chef she is, has is a, there any particular dc neighborhood that's highlighted in uh, the movie well we talk about all areas of okay. dc is not just one particular area but it's happening across the board from oh, all different gentrification cities right. is a huge thing here right okay. and even you know in the city that i live in in newark new jersey there's things that's happening but the thing the main thing about is having a seat at the table and finding a common ground between myself and my lead who's played by Brave Williams and how we're gonna help develop the community together and let the people who have been there all along still have a home and still figure out how they can be, uh, you know, part of the growth that they, you know, planted those seeds so long ago. That is so relevant as yeah. there's so much development going into yes, DC. Yes, yes. I can't wait to see that when it comes yeah, to yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably gonna make a lot of festival runs. You'll okay. see it, maybe it'll hit one in Netflix or maybe in the big theater. Oh, be okay. Nice. Well, yeah. we'll stay tuned for that. Another thing that I'm looking forward to seeing mm -hmm. is your new court TV law and order type drama on BET. Yes, yes, it's called In Content. Uh, I play a character, Bennett Thompson, who was an ex-law professor. I come back into the criminal uh, justice system as an author. I'm, I'm a crime novelist. And the lead, Erica Ash, who plays, she plays Gwen Sullivan, she's a defense attorney. And we wind up, I don't want to give you too much, but you we wind, wind up, up connecting and doing okay, some research don't, don't on my book. Okay, don't leave us hanging now. <laughs> no, but you got to look out for that. That's going to be coming out in the spring on BET. Uh, myself, Erica Ash, Kristen Keyes is in that, um, in that film. I mean, that TV series, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. It's going to be great. One thing that I think is exciting about mm -hmm. where you're going to be in the spring is that they are putting out such great content. Being Mary Jane just ended. Yes. Rebel was phenomenal. Yes. And you're coming at, like, the most exciting time, I yes, think. Yes, yes, yes. Some of the writers that were on Rebel are doing the writing on In Contempt, and I'm telling you, we're tackling some real issues, things that are happening right now in the world, 
and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. People are going to love it. Now, speaking of tackling issues, mm -hmm. you love to give back to the community. Yes. And you partnered with Common, like one of the biggest conscious yes. hip hop artists out there. Tell me about that. Well, um, it was part of the mayor's initiative in New York, New Jersey, Raz Baraka. Um, who is the son of great Amiri Baraka. And, you know, his whole idea is about heal a, nation, um, heal a city, heal a nation. And it's just one of the ways that the mayor's initiative, as far as giving back to feeding the homeless, as far as um, the Newark Youth Ambassadors who are champ campaigning for the, for the mayor, uh, just being a part of the community, being involved, being touchable, right. you know, it's, it's so needed. It's so needed. Um, Somebody did it for me, so it's important for me to do it for someone else. And the art has really saved my life. So I'm always preaching about art. I'm always teaching about art. I'm always, you know, showing the kids that, you know, if you dedicate yourself to this craft, if you dedicate yourself and have a discipline, you can it will take achieve. You it, it will take Tobias, you places. Tobias, I for me. like you. Yeah. I like you. Folks at home, <laughs> if you don't know his work, go check it out. He's not only conscious in his acting, he's conscious in the community. Yes. So thank you for joining us on a great day. Thank you. Now I'm going to talk.